everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my video. Today, this is going to be the last mini album in my five mini album series using two pieces of 12 by 12. So in this video, we're going to be doing album number five. If you missed the others, I will link them right up here for you. This has been such a fun series and I can't wait to show you this album. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the gorgeous paper that we're gonna be using for this last album, album number five. So I hope that you will definitely give this a try. Go grab your 12 by 12 paper and let's get started. So very easy, we are gonna just cut this down, both sheets, to four pieces of six by six. So all you do is just stick this in, cut at six inches. And then we're going to cut it again at six inches so we can cut that branding strip off. Cut it six inches and then cut these down to six inches. So you're going to end up with four pieces of six by six for each page. Okay, so we've got four pieces of six by six for that one. I'm going to do the exact same thing for this sheet. Okay, so I cut both of my sheets down all to six by six sheets. So I have eight all together. Okay, so we're gonna take these eight sheets that we just cut to six by six, and you're gonna choose your cover first. So I think I want the pretty floral to be my cover. So I'm gonna stick that one aside. And then for the back cover, I'm gonna choose this blue one. So we need to put those aside because we're gonna be scoring those a little different than these. So then the rest of these, we have six more and we're going to be scoring them all the same. So I've got this in my scoreboard and I'm going to score down the middle at three inches and then I'm going to turn it this way and score at four inches. So again that was three inches down the middle and you turn it this way and score at four. So we're going to score down the middle at three inches, turn it, and score in at four. So now I have four left here. I'm gonna do the exact same score lines. Okay, so now that we have these six all scored, just set these aside. So this is the cover. I cut this down to six. So it was already at six, and I cut this down to four and one eighth. So we, that left this little scrap, which you can put aside and save, and that's what I did for the back cover as well. So now these both measure 6 by 4 and 1 eighth. So now I'm just going to stick this in 6 inches up here and score this down the middle at 3. Same thing with this one. 6 inches up here, we're going to score down the middle at 3. Now I'm going to fold on the score lines. So this is three, and then I'll fold up like that. And then what you're gonna do is this is a pocket here, but you are going to fold this backwards like that. Take your bone folder and make sure you get the creases really well. And so the opening should be over here at the left, and this is the fold, and it makes two pockets, one here and one there. And actually it's going to make three pockets because there's going to be a top loading pocket also. I would want to do it the opposite way. Okay, so I would fold it like that, and then fold this up, and it will be closed like this. So then these now are opposite. So now you're just going to take the rest of these sheets here and fold them the exact same way. So now 
now that we have all of these pocket pages folded, we just need to glue some of the pockets down. So I like to take my wet glue and just open this up like this and glue the two sides. So you're just going to do a thin bead over here and over there to glue the two pocket sides down. And then when you close this, you're going to want to do a thin bead here on the bottom to close that. And then before you close it all the way, do a thin bead along the side as well. Because this is going to be a top loading pocket. Okay. So now you've got the side sealed, the bottom, and the two sides of the pockets. And I like to punch a little notch up here. So I should have done this while it was open, but a little notch up here, just on one side. Okay, so then let me make sure that glue is going to dry. So this is our cute little pocket page. It's got a pocket here, pocket here, and a top loading pocket and do the same thing for the rest of these. I like to have the opening at the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch my notch here. So that way you can see the other side of the paper through there. And you can punch these too, but I'm just gonna leave mine straight like that. And then I'm just gonna glue everything down. Okay, so I got all of my pocket pages done. They're super cute. So these are like the inside pages to the album. So I'm just going to set those aside. And these are super easy. So this is your back cover. Just fold it in half with that score line. And here's the front cover. And the reason we're folding these in half is just to make the front and back cover more solid. So what I'm going to do with these, you can make a pocket if you want, but what I'm going to do is just seal the entire thing. So it just is like a double-sided, really sturdy piece of paper. So I'm actually just using my ATG gun, and I'm going to just seal the entire thing. So I know I folded on that score line already. So now it's just like a solid nice thick cover and here is where um, here's the fold side so this is the side that we would bind same thing for the back cover so just to assemble this is super easy I'm just going to take my pages like this and just kind of put them in the order that I have them laid out here I'm just going to stack them all together and there's my back cover. Front and back covers are a teeny tiny bit bigger than the inside pages. So here's our cute little album. But the next thing you're going to do is, okay, I'm going to set this one aside. That's my front cover. Take my first pocket page and you're going to need a hole punch for this. I'm going to use my crop dial because it's the one I have. But you can just use a regular hole punch for this. And you're just going to eyeball I'm going to use the smaller side of my crop dial and I'm just going to eyeball two holes. So one right there. Don't do it too close to the edge. And then one about there. So now you just take the one that you punch the holes in and line it up with the others. And I just take a pencil. And draw a little dot where the holes should be and go in there and punch the hole 
And there you go, they're perfectly lined up. So then you can just use this one as the template for this one. So now that I have all of my little holes punched in here, it's time to bind this. I'm going to bring in this item for this album. These are mini book rings by Tim Holtz. You can pretty much find them in any craft store. I'll also link them below. They're very, very, um, they're very affordable. This comes with 18 rings and pretty easy from here. You just, so you just take the ring and put it through all your pages. So I'm going to do the top one first, and it's super easy. You just got to put them all through, and they're all even, so you can kind of just stick them right through there. And then, and then we're just going to clasp that one. And then we're just going to do the bottom one. Okay, sorry about that. My camera battery died, and it's a new day now. So I decorated the cute album that we just made. So the decoration part, you can do whatever you want. But um, if you've been watching this series, you know that I was allowing myself to use the die cuts, the chipboard pieces, and the scraps, of course, and then this like tag page. But the tag page was too large for this because it was this page here. And so you'll see what I did on the inside of our cute little pocket album. So let's do a flip through of the final album. And I also wanted to tell you, this is a great project to use up your project life cards because this little album measures three by four. And as you know, that's what size the project life cards are. So if you have a lot of project life cards, you could make a project life ring bound album like this and then make some of these little pocket pages that we made to put in the album with the Project Live cards. So I'll kind of show you what that is because I stuck a couple journaling cards in here. It was one of the cut aparts from the collection that we've been using. So here is the cover. I just did it very simple with a die cut from the ephemera pack and this beautiful plant chipboard piece. So here's our front cover. And I just stuck some goodies and some scraps inside the pockets. But as you know, these are triple pockets. We got one here, one on the back, and then this top loading pocket right up here. So this is just a little ephemera piece from the collection. And I just glued down a little die cut right there. And these can be filled so much more um, with tons and tons of stuff. Cute little tag out of the scraps. And then I cut this out of the cut apart sheet. This was, there was two left, so this was one of them. And I just punched the holes to fit in our little album. So that's a cute page. And then here's another pocket page. And I put one of the die cut tags um, from the ephemera pack in the big pocket up here. And then here's another page. And this was actually a scrap I had left on my desk from the last project. So I just went ahead and used it. And this is also from the ephemera pack. It's a little index card with a tab. So I just thought that was cute to stick in there. And another cute little tag. I love these Tim Holtz rings. I'm going to link them below. These are so perfect for these little albums. Here's another die cut I just stuck in the pocket. And then here is a cute, um, this is also the last journaling card that I cut out of that 12 by 12 sheet. And there's a little die cut I glued down just to kind of make my own little project life card. And then another cute tag. So in this pocket, I put a little die cut as well. This is from the ephemera pack. Just to get right back in there. And just more cute tags and then here's the back cover of our cute little album so there it is so I hope that you enjoyed this mini album and I hope that you'll give it a try this is my last album in the five mini album series out of two sheets of 12 by 12 paper I hope that you enjoyed this series. I know I had so much fun with it, and I loved working with the Wonders Collection by Paige Evans. It is such pretty paper, and I do have a bunch 
left from that collection so I'm going to think of some more stuff that I can make with it but this cute little album was so fun I hope that you'll give it a try if you did enjoy this please give me a thumbs up and it'll let me know that you like simple and fun projects I'll be back very soon with another video I hope you all have a great weekend thanks so much for watching everyone bye